こんにちは皆さん、こさけです。今日は日本語で気持ちを伝えることを教えます。Don't forget to subscribe to watch all my upcoming videos. じゃあ、始めましょう。Expressing your feelings are very important in learning the Japanese language. In order to have a good communication to other people, and to get along easily with them. So, let's start with the basic expressions. So, here are the four basic expressions in Japanese. So, happy in Japanese is ureshi, ureshi, and shiawase, shiawase. So, there are two ways of saying how I'm happy in Japanese. So, I will tell you about it later so sad sad in japanese is kanashii kanashii or sabishii sabishii kanashi sabishii there are also two ways on how to say sad in japanese and i will explain all of it to you later so angry is atama ni kuru Atama ni kuru. Or, you can also say, Okoru. Okoru. And for surprise, we have, Bikkuri suru. Bikkuri suru. Or, Odoroku. So, let's use them all in a sentence. So, just like what I've said earlier, Happy in Japanese is, Ureshi or, Shiawase. There are two ways of, Saying it. So, ureshi des. I'm happy. Ureshi des. Shiawase des. Shiawase des. And it also means I'm happy. So, what's the difference between ureshi and shiawase? So, shiawase versus ureshi. The difference between the two is shiawase is a long term happiness about something. For example, you're happy about hmm, about winning a uh, in a lottery. You can say, "Oh, shiawase des, shiawase des," or about something that you will never ever forget about happening in your life. For example, hmm, you've graduated. You can also say, "Shiawase des, shiawase des." It means that you're happy because you've graduated or you won a lottery. And Urishi means temporary or short-term happiness. It means that it's only a happiness that you can feel or experience in such a short time. For example, you've tried a ramen in a restaurant in Japan for the first time and you can say, Urishi! Ureshi. Yeah, that's been, that means I'm happy that I got to experience to eat that ramen for the first time. So, shiawase, remember, is used for long-term happiness. When you graduate, you've won a lottery, and any other occasions that that's remarkable and memorable to you. So, and orishi, we can use this in only, for example, you try the cloth, new cloth, and you're happy that you buy it. You can say orishi des, to mean that you're happy that you buy the cloth, or you've tried a ramen for the first time in a restaurant. You can also say orishi, or you also watch a movie. That's releasing in cinemas. You can also use this word ureshi to to mean this is a uh, only a happiness, temporary or short-term happiness. Shiawase is a long-term. Ureshi is a temporary happiness. So that's the difference between the two. So let's move on to our second futatsume. So next we have sad or lonely. So. Sad in Japanese, just what I've said earlier, is kanashii, or you can also say sabishii. So, what's the difference? So, 
Kana shii means I'm sad. Sabi shii also means I'm sad. Kana shii des I'm sad. Sabi shii des I'm sad. So what's really the difference between the two? So kana shii is used when you're really really sad about something. For example, your dog died. So you can say kana shii des. So, sabi shi des. I'm. It's also mean I'm sad, or it can also mean that you're lonely. It's not like kanashi e, that is more severe. I agree. It it doesn't la it last like it nas it's not like rather kanashi e, which is more sadness. Sabi shi is like you're just lonely about something or. For example, you alone in your house, and you happen to chat with your friend, and you can say "sabi shi des" to mean I'm sad because I'm lonely. I'm the only here in in home in house, and no one's around. So you can use "kana shi des" I'm sad, or "sabi shi des" to mean also mean I'm sad or lonely. So "san ban me." We have angry. Angry in Japanese earlier, just like I've said, is okoru or atama ni kuru. So I'll explain to you the two. So okoteiru, okoteiru. I'm angry. So okoteiru comes from the word okoru, just like what I've said earlier, which means angry. Okoteiru. I am angry. So that's what it means. So Atama ni kita, atama ni kita. I got angry. So, atama means head, head ni kita to got into. So, it literally means to got into head. So, so like just like something got into head, but not literally like that. So, atama ni kita. I got angry. So, as you can see, it is in a past tense form. I got angry. Atama ni kita. So, okoteiru. I'm angry. You can also change it into a past tense. To make it a past tense sentence. Okoteita. Okoteita. I got angry. So, that's how we say, say angry in Japanese. But, I recommend to you that you... You better use this okoteiru than atama ni kita because okoteiru is more common way, more common that many people uses and atama ni kita, um, I don't think many people mostly use that. Even in anime, uh, the voice actors and the writers always use okoteiru. So, use okoteiru or you can also use atama ni kita depending on what you like so let's move on to our next so let's move on onto our saigo so surprise surprise in japanese is odoroku or bikuri bikuri or odoroku so there are two ways of saying it odoroki mashita odoroki mashita I'm surprised. And you can also say, Bikuri shimashita. Bikuri shimashita. To also mean, I'm surprised. So, Odoroki mashita is not common. And it's so it's a very formal word to say to strangers. You can use it into strangers or people you're not so close to. But when you're uh, talking to your friends, family, or the person are, that are close to you, you can, you can use this. Bikuri shimashita. Bikuri shimashita. And bikuri shimashita is a casual, casual word, casual phrase that we can use. Bikuri shimashita is more informal that, than odoroki mashita. So that's how we say it in Japanese. Ja. Fukushu shimashita. So let's review all the things that I've told you earlier. The four basic expressions in Japanese. So the first word is happy. How do we say happy in Japanese? It's ureshi. 
ureshi or shiawase. Shiawase. Remember that ureshi is a short-term happiness and shiawase is a long-term happiness. So next, sad, kanashi. Kanashi or sabishi. Sabishi. So remember that kanashi. We can use this when we are having a great, a big sadness, a difficulties in life. We can use this kanashi. And sabishi is not a very serious sadness. We can use this when we are lonely or alone, or we are only sad about something that is not very serious. So, angry is okoru, okoru, or atama ni kuru, atama ni kuru. Remember that okoru is more casual than atama ni kuru, but you can also use atama ni kuru if you want. So, lastly, surprise. Surprise is bikuri suru, bikuri suru, or odoroku, odoroku. Remember that Bikuri Suru is more casual than Odoroku. Odoroku, you can use Odoroku when you're talking with strangers or people that are higher to you or you're not very close to. But Bikuri Suru, since this is a casual phrase, you can use this to your friends, family, and the people that are close to you. So just remember the four expressions in Japanese, which is Ureshi, shiawase, kanashi, sabishii, atama ni kuru or okoru, bikuri suru or odoroku. So, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you learned many things in this video that will help you in studying Japanese. If you have questions, please let me know in the comments and also if you want to talk about a certain topic about Japanese, just let me know in the comments below. And also, if you want to to learn more about Japanese, subscribing to this channel to be notified and updated on my upcoming videos. So, maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Thank you so much for watching. Minasan, arigato gozaimashita. Ja, mata ato de. Arigato na. Arigato! Arigato da. Arigato! Oh, maji arigato na! ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがと